All right. Thought I'd react to some more metal songs that have been released recently. Because I can't be asked doing a fucking album reaction right now because I haven't got the time. It's summer holidays, so, you know, kids constantly here. In the way, <laughs> he's gone to the farm with his mum, so I've got an hour or two to kill. I've got other things to do, so I thought, let's just react to some new songs by some bands. Uh, let's start with first one. It's Motionless in White. I do like Motionless in White. Uh, not as much as my girlfriend. She fucking is obsessed with them. But I do think they have some good songs, so I'm interested to see if this is going to be a good one or one that's a bit of a meh. It's 50-50, really. But let's find out, anyway. The song called Time Bomb. Let's find out. Is it any good? It's not even like that, is it? I was expecting something more at the end there. I was expecting a massive breakdown or something. Oh, so time bomb's gone off the end. Okay. Okay. Apart from the ending, yeah, good song. Fully enjoyable. Yeah. I do like the uh, the vocals on the chorus. Yeah, I did like the song. Uh, I like the melodic chorus. I think it was well paced. You know, that felt quite short for four minutes. So definitely didn't drag. So fully entertained. No problem really. Just it ended abruptly. I thought something else was going to happen, but apart from that, yeah, good song. The next song is Ice Nine Kills, Assault and Batteries. I'm not sure what to expect with this. Uh, I've listened to a few Ice Nine Kills, but I'm trying to put my finger on whether I like them or not. I do know they do like horror themed songs, so it's up my alley. Love horror. Horror. Probably sounds like a killer toy, could be like a Chucky kind of song theme. Anyway, let's jump into it. Claims her son's doll is possessed by the spirit of a dead man's
Okay. <laughs> right, I've not listened to too much Ice Nine Kills. Uh, every time I try and listen to a few of their songs, they've got very long intros and I kind of get put off. Uh, one thing I will say about his clean vocals at the moment, sounds like Fall Out Boy. <laughs> Make of that what you will. Okay, the instrumentation is very good. The guitar is just fantastic. I'd say that's like the best part of the song so far. Um, vocal wise, I do like the uh, the harsher vocals more. The clean vocals. I'm now hearing uh, Brendan, whatever he's fucking called, Brendan Yuri, Panic at the Disco. I like it, the disco fallout boy, that kind of feeling. Every fucking time he does clean vocals. It's really fucking irritating. <laughs> I hate those bands with a passion. Well, not with a passion, I don't really give a shit about them, but I, did, I really dislike those bands every time I hear them. So I'm trying to ignore that, obviously. So instead of a long ass intro, this one's got a long, long ass outro. Uh, I'm gonna say not for me. This this one, there's parts of it I like. I, I but yeah, like I say, I, I like the the actual instrumentation. I like the drums. Yeah, I like the melody. I like. I like the energy and pace of the song, but a few things irritate me. One, the clean vocals, and two, the fucking nee, nee, wee, can we get you? I've heard that too many times in fucking horror theme songs. Yeah, everybody bites that. So, yeah, not for me. But I can see why people like the band, and yeah. Maybe it feels a different song, but for this one, Assault and Batteries, no, not for me. Uh, next up is Trivium, Feast of Fire. Yeah, I've always liked Trivium. Uh, seen them live. I think Matt Heafy's brilliant vocalist. Both clean and dirty vocals. Yeah, I think they're overhated. Yeah, very good band. Anyway, this is our new song, Feast of Fire. Let's give it a listen. I will say, without any hair at all, his ears are protruding extra far. <laughs> that's, I don't know why I mentioned that, that's just all, all I want to say.
Okay, that was another solid song. Uh, I'd say Trivium are probably one of the most consistent bands going at the moment. You know, they've all pretty much got maintained that same level in their last few albums. I think it's been since Silence in the Snow. That was probably the last album I was like, yeah, I'm not really feeling this one. Everything since then? Yeah, decent again. But yeah, good song. Okay, apparently there's another Iron Maiden song. This one's called Stratego. A bit nervous about this. <laughs> oh. I say, this is my favourite band. I'm always really harsh with Maiden because I expect so much. <sighs> Come on. Pretend if any other band. <laughs> Right, this is sounding more like classic Maiden that I love. Ah, oh. yes, <laughs> I can relax a bit. This is this is much better than the previous song, in my opinion. Anyway, you know, probably other fans out there saying "fuck off." This one's worse than the other one. Well, the other one was awesome. This one's me. To me, this one sounds more like Maiden. This one's got a much better driving melody than the previous one. They, yeah, I'm really digging this one. <laughs> Holy shit, yes! That was so much better. That's Iron Maiden doing Iron Maiden. I don't even know what that fucking means. No, what the fuck does that mean? That's Iron Maiden, it just sounded like proper Iron Maiden. The other one sounded, I don't, it just sounded tired and a bit dull to me. And yeah, that one sounded fresher. That one sounded like they got back to their roots. That sounded like there was passion in there. That was a fucking great song. Fuck yeah. <sighs> I, there's not a single negative in that. Loved everything about that. Vocals, perfect. Drumming, excellent. Guitar solos, phenomenal. <sighs> Two thumbs up. It's taken me so many edits to get this video put out just because of that one fucking Iron Maiden song. <sighs> Kept getting blocked over and over again. I've, I've just had to shave out so, so much out of the video. Hopefully this time it's viewable. It should have been up a couple of days ago. Oh well. Enjoy.